Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Thursday, May the 2nd, 2019. The tarot card for today is the Queen of Swords. Oh my my, after yesterday's Ace of Swords, what is she up to? You know, I had to go and Google this to think, you know, because I couldn't remember what year. But the first thing that popped in my head, and I can't sing for you, my singing is terrible, um, Man Eater by Hall & Oates from 1982. Okay, if you've ever heard that song, <laughs> just go, go, go listen to it, okay? Because that is the kind of vibe that this Queen of Swords is giving off today. But I don't feel that it's in a bad way, okay? When you listen to the song, you might get that impression, but it's that there's something about it, you know, that like just chewing up everything in your path and taking care of business. There's something going on here today. You're still operating under that forceful Aries moon, but think about it. When you saw the Queen of Swords, what comes to mind? Yeah, the new moon, which will be in Taurus, is only two days away. If ever a card had a reputation, this may be it. Because the Queen of Swords, if you've been following me for the past four years, then you know, especially around new moons, she's often hanging around maybe a day or so before, a day or so after, sometimes even the day of. But this time, I really like her vibe, okay? I don't think that she is in that nasty mode. I think she's just tackling life, and that's what this is all about right now for you. It's like really digging in, really doing what you have to do, keeping your priorities straight, staying focused, organizing things okay now she is a force to be reckoned with but like i said i don't feel like she's in the us usual context of how we talk about her at a new moon but there still are those people out there who find themselves to be affected or someone in their midst who may be affected and it's always good to be aware of those people whether it's yourself or another who you know may lash out and you know it's always good to be careful with your words not to antagonize or if you think that you have an issue and you're not as nice when the moon is new it happens it happens more frequently with the new moon than with the full moon people tend to get a little edgy but if you can recognize your own patterns you can avoid any real confrontations because you know once words are out there it's hard to take them back but i feel that your better use of this card for today is to just really go at it full force take care of business do whatever it is you need to do this is not so much about creating the changes themselves as it is doing the things that are necessary to make the change possible there is a difference there okay sometimes you just got to take care of life and keep on plugging away move forward and there there's no you know room for emotion with this card you leave emotion out of it and you stay focused on what it is that needs to be done and you know there there is trust me you'll do it you will absolutely do it he said the aries moon is more forceful it's more direct and to the point and anything that you feel you need to handle i would try to take care of it as much as possible today as opposed to tomorrow once the moon is in Taurus you know you're looking at a whole different ball game things tend to move a little bit slower then so it's in your best interest to really utilize this Queen and keep your priorities in order today I want to remind everyone that I am continuing my offer on patreon if you were not a patron during 2018 or 2019 you are welcome to join and receive your first month for free so your may payment would be refunded to you and then you would not be billed again until june the first and of course you can cancel at any time so i want to thank you all very much for listening i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day